Okay, no swimming with giant otters because they might attack us. Let's take a look underwater. Yeah! Whee! This doesn't look so bad except for that stick. That's not a stick. It's a creature. A deadly one, too. It's an electric eel. An eel that's electric? Seriously? How is that even possible? Electric eels have special body parts that make electricity. They need this to help them hunt prey and defend themselves. What's that? Oh no, there's another one! That's not an eel, that's a snake. A ginormous snake. How many things live down here? Well, anacondas do, right, Chester? Yep, they're the biggest snakes in the world. They can grow to be as long as a school bus. That's big. Do they bite? No. They coil their bodies around their prey and drag them into the water to eat them. Cool. But no swimming with anacondas. Absolutely yeah. not. No. How about here? It looks beautiful. No giant otters, no electric eels, no anaconda. Oh, ooh, fishy, fishy. Little fishies? Piranha? With the sharp teeth? That can eat whole animals super fast? Yes, but these red piranhas bark to warn other creatures to stay away from them. Woof, woof, woof! Cute otters that don't want to play? Eels with electricity? Giant anaconda snake that squeezed their prey? And barking piranha fish? The Amazon River doesn't seem like a good place to swim. Yeah, but this is where they live. Their home, not ours. The Amazon belongs to the creatures that live here. Sorry, Lily. Oh, I don't care about the rain. If only I could find some place to swim. If I could just find one place, any place to go swimming today. Well, how about this? I was working on the robo umbrella, but then it started to rain and it turned into a swimming pool. Yay, thank you, Willow. Cannonball! Who wants to play Marco Polo? Another hypothesis. What's that? A hypothesis is what you think might be the answer to a question. In this case, why ostriches put their heads in the sand. They might do it because they're scared, but there might be another reason. Well, my hypothesis is that they do it to hide from predators, from animals that want to eat them. But that leaves their whole body sticking out unprotected. Yeah, and if its head is in the ground, it won't be able to see a predator coming. Well, that might make them pretty silly, but you never know. So let's go find out why ostriches bury their heads in the sand. Let's find out what those ostriches are doing. Come on! Shh, we don't want them to run away. Right, and I have just the thing to help us get really close to them. <gasps> They're not real. I made them. They're hollow inside, so they're easy to carry. We can hide behind them and get closer to the ostriches. Wow, everybody, wow. Bring it. Shh. Shh. Quiet, everybody. There they are. Shh. Oh, hey. Oh, gosh. Ah. Ah. Come on. Let's try to get closer. Wow. They're even bigger close up. You know, we haven't seen any ostriches stick their head in the sand yet. Wait, I think that one is. But there haven't been any loud noises, and there aren't any predators around here. Those were two of the things we thought. So maybe that's not it. But it could still be hot. Or itchy. Look, there goes another one. Holding its head in the sand. Is it? I can't see what it's doing. I think we should try to get closer. Ginormous egg! 
eggs. <gasps> the eggs? Wow. Ooh. Those are definitely the biggest eggs in the world. That must be its nest. Look, it's turning the eggs with its beak. That's why it keeps lowering its head. They're not sticking their heads in the sand at all. They're sticking their heads in their nests. Which are a hole in the ground. We figured it out. Their necks are so long and their heads are so small that when they bend down, it just looks like they're sticking their head in the sand. And now we know because we investigated for ourselves. And now I know something about ostriches. We all do. Nash, watch uh. out. Whoa! Nash! Shh! Ostriches! <laughs> it's hot. I wish I'd brought my hat. Here! My hat! You brought it in your backpack? Mm-hmm. Wow, thanks, Nash. High five, buddy. Whoa! Oops. <clears throat> How about I carry that for a bit? <sighs> I'm so hot. Whew. I'm sweaty. I'm hot and sweaty. Oh, I wish I brought some water. Ah! Water! Wawa, Wawa. For everybody. Thanks, Nash. Maybe bringing that backpack wasn't such a bad idea. Actually, it's turning out to be a really great idea. Hey, look! Rhinos? They're still a little far. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks, Nash. Yup. Let's go. Don't forget the backpack. I got it, buddy. I'll help. <gasps> Rhinos! We found them! Boy, they're big. One of the biggest land animals. Elephants are the biggest. Rhinos are so big that nothing around here eats them. Uh, what's up with those little birds? It looks like they're pecking at the rhinos' backs. It's eating bugs. I think you're right, Nash. The birds are picking bugs off the rhinos and eating them. I've heard of them. They're called oxpeckers. They help the rhinos by keeping them free of bugs. And the rhinos help the oxpeckers by giving them a source of food. No wonder the rhinos let the oxpeckers peck them. They're both getting something they need. Just like Nash helped us out today. Yeah, we never would have made it to see the rhinos without Nash and his backpack. And Nash would have never made it here with his backpack without everyone helping to carry it. I wonder what else he's got in there. <laughs> Whoa! Stuff! Teddy, bouncy ball, helmet, socks, book, flippers. My stuff! <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we better help Nash get all of his stuff back into his backpack and get it all the way back to the polo mobile. Right. Another hot, sweaty, thirsty hike to... Right over there. We barely left the polo mobile. Oh, you're <laughs> right. <laughs> Got this. There you go, buddy. Okay, Nash? Mm -mm. I know. I'm upset too. Maybe we can find a way to help. Help, help, Totals! Clean, clean up! Nash is right. We need to do something about this garbage. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. It's cleanup time. I'll get the polo marine. Malco, go there! Over there? Can do. Lily, that way. That way? I'm on it. Chester, Chester! Come here! Huh? Chester, he's saying, come with me. Uh-huh, uh-huh! 
Why can everyone understand Nash but me? I don't know. <laughs> a big responsibility. And if we work together, we can keep our planet clean. But the very best way you can help is to pick up after yourself. Then let's go be a clean-up team. Everybody clean up, clean up. Everybody clean up, clean up. Get your mask on, get your clean on. Everybody clean Ocean's a big place, and there's still lots of it to clean up. But we did a great job here. Especially you, Nash. Yeah, we're really proud of you. And Nash, now I hope you understand the importance of cleaning up after yourself. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. 